All right, can I let you in on a little secret? I don't think Batman is real. And don't look at me like that, because obviously I'm aware that he's a fictional character in existing in a fictional universe. I know that. That's not what I mean. What I mean is that in the DC universe, whether that's print or film, like, he's not real. And I have some evidence for this. So, first off, you need to know, you know who Billy Batson is? He's a 10-year-old kid who has been given the wisdom of Solomon and the strength of Samson and and yeah like so he's got all these things that are his abilities and he's kind of like a Superman but he's got the mind of a child essentially uh, honestly because that's exactly what he is he morphs into a full-grown man and then he changed back into a boy well he's got a kid friend in canon who knows this about him and that kid, whose name, I don't remember off the top of my head, I should have wrote it down or something, but he knows about Billy Batson's thing. And um, so what if, like, you know your friends, like, if you're the best friend of the kid that's on the football team, like, you think about, like, man, it would be so cool because then me and my buddy, like, we could more often, like, we could do this thing together. Or whatever, right? pretty common it's not it's not that strange don't look at me like that so um in that strain what if that kid made up the character of batman in order like like to create like a fan fiction insert because if you've read anybody's fanfic on wattpad or i don't know deviant art or whatever they always insert themselves into the story and some of them are even more intentional of that, where it's like an RPG kind of thing. If, but if you insert yourself into the story like that, uh, how would you insert yourself into it? Because you know about superpowers, you know Superman is, you know who Cap, uh, like Captain Marvel literally uh, is, you know who um, Martian Manhunter is and stuff. But there's always a challenge that they're not able to face. They're not able to solve, despite their amazing abilities. So what they need is a deus ex machina. And that, honestly, is precisely what Batman is. He is the adhesive that keeps the plot together. Why is he able to interrogate people in a more uh, the way that he does? Because plot. Why is it that he... Being just a human is able to survive on two hours of sleep every night. Why is he just being a human able to dodge bullets, dodge dark sides, um, like laser vision? Like, that doesn't make sense. Why would a human be able to do that? Because he's not real. <laughs> because he's not real. He doesn't exist. He's somebody, like, the entire DC printed comics universe is that kid's printed version of the DCU, where he's taken the canon characters that exist in his universe that he sees, like Shazam, like Superman, like Superboy, say, all of them, and then he's inserted himself as kind of a narrative, almost like an Uwachu that's kind of there, silent guardian, and he's got his own city that it protects, and he's a good kid, and so he tries to like help out his community, but he's also super rich because he's a foster kid, and what foster kid doesn't wish that he was a super rich orphan kid with a loving enabler kind of parental character, father figure, uh, all the gadgets, sexy car, supermodel on his arm right he's got all the stuff that people write rap songs about and it's apex nerd cred stuff right that why does this happen because he's batman why did he know that because he's batman why did he see this happening or why was he able to conclude this that or some other thing because he's batman that explanation of that because he's Batman makes it impossible to believe that A, he's just human 
and B, he's that good at everything. So what if he's just not real? <laughs>